の皆さん、こんにちは。ここのバービーネーション、ようこそ、私のチャンネルへようこそ。Hello, fellow doll lovers. Barbie Nation here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls. I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into today's video. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Thanks again for joining me for another Fond o l l y video today. So, today we're doing another collection video and we're tapping into my kawaii cute aesthetic today. So, we're really gonna look at the dollies、um, that really fit that super cute pastel kawaii vibe and show you the girlies I'm just really proud of in this super duper kawaii aesthetic. Yes. Yeah, there are quite some dolls in this top 10 list. I know it's a top 10 list, but I can never ever commit myself to just 10 dolls in this top 10 thing. <laughs> so、uh, you'll be seeing a lot more dolls than just 10. So、um, yeah, top 10 super duper kawaii aesthetic dolls in my collection. Here we go. First up is the Barbie Hello Kitty from 2018. Although the box says 2017,、uh, somehow the internet claims this one is from 2018. I always get confused with these box dates. Usually the box date is a year prior to release. So, okay. Hello Kitty, super adorable. Look at her with her Carl face sculpt.、Um, The fashion is so adorable. She has like this woven vest,、um, and the details on it is so cute. It has the Hello Kitty ribbons on it, and even the skirt also is filled with Hello Kitty ribbons. Of course, the apples and that purse, that purse, and her shoes with the lacy socks. This screams everything kawaii and adorable Hello Kitty. And there are actually、uh, a couple more Hello Kitty dolls in the Barbie lineup.、Um, I do have the 2008 Hello Kitty doll.、Um, I got her really cheap because she had this yellow head、um, disease. And、um, I was able to fix her, but I really would love to get her inside the box. Same goes for 2007 Hello Kitty, also very cute. A little bit more on the Hard Rock Cafe ish look, but very adorable. The box, however, of this Hello Kitty is very nice. It has that sturdy white carton. The text on the back is really cute. And I just, I mean, imagine how she would look alongside the other. Hello Kitty dolls. How cute, right? So, do you have any Hello Kitty dolls? Which one do you have and which one do you prefer, actually? Let me know down in the comments below and let's head on over to number nine. So, number nine is this adorable Barbie Peter Rabbit 100 year celebration from 2002. The box. It is so the Beatrix Potter vibes. I mean, yeah, it, you cannot deny the ultimate kawaii levels of this doll. Down to her adorable dress, of course, with the images of Peter Rabbit on it. And it just gives so much nostalgia vibes <laughs> of before bedtime reading. And it just feels so soft and familiar and secure. 
It even has this little booklet inside and the details on this doll. And this dress is just amazing. It is just everything we just can't get from Mattel anymore these days. So that makes these dolls all the more special to me. Just the fact that Mattel really cannot deliver this type of quality anymore. Here we see the back of the box and you can pause it if you want to read it, but it just, it's so romantic. It's Victorian. It is everything. <laughs> I can't stop raving about these super cute dolls. And there's actually another one from the 90s, um, the Peter Rabbit doll. She's also adorable. But let's head on over to number eight, because number eight is the Glam and Groom Barbies from 1999. Missing Christy in this lineup. Um, and Christy is looking iconic in this lineup, but she's hard to find over here. So I'll have to be a little bit more patient to get her. But let's take a look at Barbie. I love her color palette in this series. The pink fluffy dress, that super extra dog she has here with almost better hair than herself. Um, but the mint background and that pink on her dress, it's just wow. Uh, the back of the box, we see all the three girls uh, and the names of the dogs, which are Lacey, Keely, and Ruby. <laughs> I just think this, whoever made up this concept deserves an award because it is so cute. I love Teresa's outfit. I mean... Totally need to get myself one out of the box because this look is just phenomenal. The ribbons in her hair, that deluxe Chanel vibe that she has going on here is just super adorable. So yeah, I'm really proud of my Glam and Groom dolls. I actually both got them from subscribers of my channel. So guys, thank you again so much for adding these girls to my collection. Over to number seven, which is the ever iconic My Melody Barbie from 2007. Yes, the Sanrio vibes are high in this video. <laughs> um, but this one, My Melody, even the box it is so cute. And she has so many details. That scarf around her head, her three necklaces, the belt, the bag, the charm on the bag. The bracelets, the sunglasses, her socks. I mean, she has so many extra details. It is insane. And um, just the colors complement each other so well. The green with the pink, the white, and it is just, look at this belt. This My Melody brooch on it. It is just, yeah. The necklace and that Steffi face, it, the whole combination, the whole design is just perfect. I would not change a thing about this doll. The back of the box, ever so cute. You can pause it if you want to read this. And they totally need to do a new Sanrio inspired doll. Um, because the last one we got is I think 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Let's continue to number six. Number six are the 90s Mattel Disney dolls. Now, who did have a 90s Mattel Disney princess doll growing up? This Sparkle Eye Sleeping Beauty. I mean, I am just so in love with this dress. There's something about that pink, that tulle and the glitter on it that makes me just feel so enchanted by it. It is that ultimate magical Disney feeling and the sparkle eyes her itself are maybe just a little creepy, but I think it's a very cute touch because I was always enchanted by it. My favorite Disney princess has to be Ariel and Cinderella, but I'm placing Cinderella at number one. So my favorite 90s Disney princess doll is Cinderella. 
I love her in her box. I was crazy obsessed with this doll when I was little. I could not stop playing with this dress. And I just thought it was so magical. And I actually collected most of the Cinderella 90s collection. I have the uh, Fairy Godmother. I have Sparkle Eyes Cinderella here um, with that same glittery dress. I have, of course, the um, original out of the box. I have Prince Charming. I have her pink dress. The only thing I still need to find is the uh, evil stepmother and the peasant dress, actually, that she's in. And these uh, fashion packs or extra costumes, they're pretty hard to find over here. So I really have to search eBay for them. I remember I paid a lot for the fairy godmother set, actually. <laughs> so really have... Um, my eyes set on the evil stepmother and the peasant dress for Cinderella because I really want to complete this whole set, of course. It is just so adorable. Look at her in this box. So in this lineup, I don't have Jasmine and I really would love to add a Jasmine to this set. And of course, also Pocahontas. Um, Snow White we see here and she just has the cutest face. <laughs> She has these really big eyes, and she looks like uh, a Japanese doll, almost. Belle, of course, with her pretty face and that gorgeous, gorgeous golden gown. Yeah, it is really... Oh, the dolls they made back then, it's, it's just not how they are made today. It's just a constant reminder. <laughs> and I also have the classic... Sleeping Beauty doll. I love that she could close her eyes and she could actually go to sleep. And you could transform her dress from pink to blue, just like the uh, three fairies who constantly battle over the color of this dress. And I think I actually like it blue or pink or maybe blue or maybe just pink. Let's go over to number five, where we see the 90s birthday girls. Of course, no 90s birthday party was complete without a big, pink, poofy, gowned Barbie doll. I am so in love with birthday Barbies. They, to me, are the epitome of what a Barbie doll is. It is big hair, big dresses, over the top, glitter, festivities, and just all in all happy vibes. You know, like the McDonald's birthday parties, Barbie was just as much a part of your childhood happiness and I mean, the peak of your childhood happiness were those birthdays. Am I right? So, I mean, that I think that's why I am just so in love with birthday Barbies. And I love to display them all together. So I have a lot of them unboxed, but also a lot of them in box. And I actually have the complete 90s collection from 1990 up until 1999. So I am so proud of all of my 90s birthday Barbies. And not only these girls are fantastic, but also later on in the Y2K era. But as you can see, they use a lot of color, a lot of pastel colors. Um, and it went from, you know, iridescent crystal vibes up until rainbow dress vibes uh, they used all of the themes they could think of like balloons and soft makeup and do i need to say more about 90s birthday barbies Number five, we go over to Sweet England, where we find Barbie's cousin, Francie. 
and this is the Francie Nighty Brights from 2011. And this one even has a certificate of authenticity signed by Robert Best himself, the designer of this fabulous Francie doll. And so super cute. Look at her and all of the things that she comes with. So super 60s, so mod. I just, I am so in love with her. Right down to this super 60s dress with that purse, the rag doll, the combs, the brushes, the sleeping mask, and her amazing eyelashes. I just love Francie. She just looks so adorable. And I love that sweet little face. The pajamas are so cute with the polka dots and that green color. Yeah. And she's actually pretty rare. Very rare, actually, to be exact. This is the artwork featured on the back. Um, I mean, it just screams Robert Best. Um, and I think she's also on a silkstone body, actually. And if I'm not mistaken, there are only 3,100 of her made worldwide. Yeah, so not only is she very rare, she is also super expensive, but also very cute. <laughs> I just mean, with friends, you just, you just can never go wrong if you want to start a super cute kawaii inspired collection. Francie is always a good idea to add to your collection, especially this one. This one is top tier, definitely. So we go over to number three on the list already. Number three, I have a tie actually between the Tarina Tarantino doll from 2007 and Tokidoki Barbie from 2011, which was a 10th anniversary for Tokidoki. Super cute, very, very on brand, this doll. And I love everything about her. Down to the tattoos and the pink hair and the donut headband and a Carl face. I love the way her face is painted and I just love her badass vibe. I mean, she looks super cute with her tool dress and all, but then she has all of these tattoos which are so detailed and you really have to pause the screen to really see all of the tattoos here. It features all of the super cute Tokidoki drawings and characters in their universe. And it is just, it is an amazing doll. Yeah. And she comes with so many cute accessories. This shopping bag, for instance, and then these headbands, which have kind of like a cactus feel to it with that adorable star detail on it with the face. I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah. I could just squeal from excitement and, you know, cute aggression just by looking at it. Tarina Tarantino, have a sparkling day. She was a, she is a jewelry designer. And I mean, this doll, look at her necklace, the belt, the purse, the ring, the stones, the, the sparkles on her dress, the ballerina pumps. The details on this doll, again, it is just, you have to have her in your collection. If you like the dolls that I like, if you like super pink pastel kawaii aesthetic, Tarina Tarantino is your top tier doll. Yeah. So here on the back, uh, you see a description of the doll itself and the designer, of course, and there are only 14,400 of her worldwide. So less than your average 20,000, which I think makes her maybe not platinum, but really, really gold label. She has the Steffi face, which is, of course, always a good idea on a Barbie doll. And yeah, she is just just gorgeous. Just look at them together. Wow. Love them so much. And it's time for number two. So number two has the Japanese exclusive Barbie dolls that I have in my collection. We have Barbie uh, from the Friends Forever series that was also introducing a 
new Barbie, which was called Reina or Reina. Reina? I think Reina. Yeah, I think you pronounce it like that. Um, Friends Forever. Yeah, so there was a brunette version, and she's from 1999. And the brunette version is actually harder to find, which is called Reina. This is the Barbie. And what I love about these Japanese exclusive dolls is their adorable sweet faces and their sparkling eyes. So they have more of the animated eyes, actually. And uh, with that extra sparkle. And they usually use the Mackie face because these Barbies really were produced in the era of late 90s, early Y2K. So it was either a superstar face or a Mackie face. This exclusive Hello Kitty doll, I mean, oh my gosh. I would consider myself the luckiest collector ever if I would also be able to find her out of the box. But I'm already super stoked that I can add her to my collection in the box. Look at these super sweet accessories, the details on the dress, the ribbons, the Hello Kitty vibes. I mean, Sanrio does it best. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you, when you're talking about the kawaii aesthetic, Sanrio is your best friend. <laughs> especially mixed together with Barbie. So Japan had some exclusive Barbie dolls and there was this bakery shop Barbie, which I am still after. Then the Rena doll, the Sweet Moments, and there was this Easter doll also. I'm, there are a lot more, of course, but these are the ones that I'm really eyeing at right now. So let's go over to some honorable mentions. Of course, Cutie Reveal is the latest uh, of the super cute Barbie editions. And I love to combine them with Y2K Barbies. With made to move bodies, but Y2K heads in their cutie reveal costumes. Yeah, it's a whole mix, I know. <laughs> but um, I'm just so happy with the release of cutie reveal. It, oh, it is so adorable and Comp yeah, and pairing that with these Y2K heads and made to move bodies just makes it all the more cute. Um, so she's actually a Dream Glow Barbie. And as you know, I'm obsessed with uh, sleeping dolls <laughs> or sleep themed Barbie dolls. And Dream Glow is the absolute winner out of all of the sleep slumber party themed Barbie dolls. I talk about Teresa forever. So um I'll spare you that. But here we have a party time, Teresa, which is also... I mean, pink box Barbies are just kawaii first and foremost. But there are some very cute ones. Among them, these party time dolls. So we have Teresa and there's Barbie. Still need to find Barbie. But I thought Teresa was way cuter. So, of course, had to get me the Teresa first. And what was also very fun in the early Y2K era was the Looney Tunes craze. And Barbie joined the fun and actually made a sleepover Tweety doll. And uh, so, of course, she has to be an honorable mention because she is so darn cute. It's it's a Playline doll. It's, it's actually nothing special, but I just think she is so adorable. And I am so happy that I have her in my collection. There are several other Looney Tune Barbie dolls, actually, but this one was uh, sleep-themed. So that's why she's the winner for me, of course. And talking again about sleep-themed dolls, look at this Bedtime Stories set of Barbie and Kelly. It doesn't get any cuter than this. One, they made use of pink and uh, seafoam green, which is the perfect pastel pairing ever. And they made uh, a sleep, you know, before bedtime vibe, which is, look at this. And she's reading the story of the three little bears. Oh. It, and it even comes with like this miniature stuffed plushie of a bear. It is from the year 2000. So, you know, this is good. <laughs> really love it. And, um... 
My First Barbie. Yeah, Pink Box, My First Barbie. If you love, 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 love pastel cutie aesthetics, definitely look for these Barbies online because this one is the one I had as a kid, so I had to get this one. But you have like tea time Barbies. There are uh, a numerous of other My First Barbies, ballerinas, princesses, you name it. But it is just so adorable. And they also came with a lot of cute fashions. And the next one I also wanted to mention was the birthstone beauties now these girlies oh my gosh so i have this aquamarine march one and i really want to get me the october opal one to match her with because she is pastel pink but these girls come in a variety of colors of course all the birthstone colors but in a variety of skin tones and hair colors, but all, all with the Steffi face. These girlies, I think they're so adorable. Oh my gosh. So they're pretty expensive and not too easy to find. So um, yeah, it's gonna be hard collecting a few of these, <laughs> but I have the Aquamarine one and I really wanna get me the October Opal one or the June Pearl one. They're just all so adorable. And I love the box. I love like the gem shaped box of it. So yeah, and you know, you can always go the right way with a winter doll because winter is always this pastel color scheme, much as the slumber party ones, winter wonderland themes are also the best dolly ideas <laughs> so this winter dazzle from 1997 is no exception i mean look at her isn't she just the cutest and let's head over to number one on this pastel cutie kawaii aesthetic list Number one, we have the Alika and Sanrio collaboration dolls. And I have me Cinema Roll, Little Twin Stars, Karomi, and My Melody. Oh my gosh. Yeah, super cute. So let's start with Little Twin Stars, which is my latest addition to these girls. And I am so happy I finally got to add her to my collection because she has been on my wish list forever. And you'll see why. Look at this super cute cutie pie with her peachy hair with lavender streaks. The super adorable lacy dress with the little twin stars on them. She comes with a bag and this over the top kawaii umbrella. <laughs> I mean, look at her and look at the packaging. It just looks so cute and deluxe at the same time. I cannot get over the cuteness of these dolls. Then we have Cinema Roll. Cinema Roll, I think, is my favorite Sanrio character. Next to Little Twin Stars. Um, yeah, I just love his dreamy, his cloudy vibe. And here you see him, the doll with uh, an actual plushie of uh, Cinema Roll. The crown, the ears, the poofy sleeves, the dress the tights that she's wearing, the shoes that she comes with, with, the, with her own little shoe box. I mean, come on, how adorable is that? But that whole color scheme paired with the gold accents, ah, uh, adorable. Now this set, My Melody and Karomi. You could order this with a uh, sleeve so you could get them both and then you would get this heart-shaped sleeve with it. It is so cute because you can really display them very cutely in this sleeve. So it has the My Melody and Karomi silhouettes on it, all of the hearts. And yeah, it was cute. It is so cute because separately, you could also get them separately. And then when you put them both together, they would also create the same heart. Karomi, 
the devilish little thing. <laughs> I mean, oh, it is very cute. It's not super pastel. It's kind of like pastel goth, I think. Yeah, but I'm also not a stranger to a cute goth girl. So yeah, obviously the My Melody one is my fave. And I love her cute little dress and those pigtails that she has with the streaks in them and the the tinsel, the glitter, everything. Yeah, it is it is so cute, you guys. And this one was super hard to get. I had to get I had to ask a Japanese friend of mine to get it for me. And even she said that it was really hard to get a hold of these dolls and to even order it online on this Japanese site. So if you did manage to get one of these or to get the set, congrats, because it is not an easy task. So of course, I am super proud to add these ladies to my collection. And I think they're the cutest, most kawaii dolls in my collection. So that's it for today guys thank you all so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified about any new videos that i upload you can also follow me on instagram at barbie nation that's usually where i post all of my updates so until the next video big kisses from me and i love you all